here we have this limit as x approaching 1 plus, and then we have ln of x to the 7th power minus 1 minus ln of x to the 5th power minus 1. Let me tell you, if we put 1 plus into all the x's, we will get negative infinity plus infinity, which is just the same as this, infinity minus infinity. It's just indeterminate, but it's okay. Let's combine them, and this time, we can use the ln property to put the insides together, but we just have to divide. So this right here is the same as saying the limit as x approaching 1 plus, and then we will just have one natural log here, and then we will have x to the seventh power minus 1 over x to the fifth power minus 1, huh? just like this. And now check this out. When we put 1 plus into the x here and here, um, we get 0 over 0 inside of the natural log, right? So it's kind of weird. But here's the thing. We have this natural log. And to be a little bit technical, natural log is a continuous function. So we can actually do the following. We can just do the limits of inside and then take the natural log at the end. So this is what I mean. This is going to be the same as saying the natural log on the outside and then we do the limit as x approaching 1 plus and then we have this x to the 7th minus 1 over x to the 5th minus 1 all right hmm. so we can kind of switch the limit and also the other order just take the limits inside out that's pretty much what i'm saying and now take a look right here when we plug things 1 into here and here, we get 0 over 0, so we can use Laputal's rule. However, we still have the natural log on the outside, so let's go ahead and just keep writing down the natural log. And then again, this is going to be the 0 over 0 case, Laputal's rule, inside here, differentiate, differentiate. So we are going to get the limit as x approaching 1 plus, and then the top right here, the derivative of x to the 7 is 7x to the 6 minus 1 just give us 0. On the bottom, we get 5x to the 4th power. Yeah, so that's what we have. Alright, is there anything we can do? Sure is. You can cancel, and then 6 minus 4 is 2, so we have 2 more right here, so that. But the truth is, we can just put 1 into the x right here. So we see. This is going to be, perhaps I'll write this down for you guys, right here. We have natural log. Put the 1 here, we get 7, and then we have the x being equal to 1. And technically, we will have to square that. And then over 5. Huh? Just like this. But you know you can see it already. This is just 7 over 5. But be really careful. The answer is natural log of 7 over 5. Right, so that's it. Yeah, just like this.